Городок, здравствуйте. Рай городок, здравствуйте. Городок Слов'янського району постійно розвивається і має активну громаду. Good evening, dobry wieczór, guten Abend. My name is. Uh, do we have to go through this again? Uh, you know me, right? You know me because this is not the first time you see me here. I'm no Michael Jackson, but uh, I've been frequenting this spot, this very stage, for at least 14 weeks last year in the middle of the first lockdown of 2020 here in the heart of Berlin East in the Panda Theater I was responsible weekly every Friday night for uh, making you dance uh, that's what I've been doing for uh, at least 14 weeks 14 Fridays from 8 to 10 Central European time um, and people were dancing people were responding which was fun and uh, I danced at least uh, you might have seen this and uh, from the pictures we did get via email or messenger and whatever I saw that other people joined us in this 
Joyous Panda Dance last year. Um, tonight is different. Tonight is very special because tonight is a celebration. Tonight is an album launch. We launch an album that is released today on SoundCloud. You can stream it. Uh, it's called Mr. To Go New Donbass Symphony. Nova Symphonia Donbasso. But let's get to the very beginning of this. 2017, February, Berlin, Berlinale Film Festival. That's where I saw and met, no, we actually met later. That's where I saw Georg, uh, Georg Genot, uh, the theater and film director. I was at the premiere, triumphant premiere of his movie, School Number no. Three. And uh, I was really impressed. Three or four months later in the Ukrainian embassy, I ran into him at some event and I recognized him at once. Beautiful big guy. And um, it's not usually what I do, but I approached him right there and said, hey, I loved your movie. Thank you. And um, as I introduced myself, it turned out that he knows my music and he's a fan. And this was, as they say, the beginning of a beautiful friendship. We stayed in contact and at some point he invited me to become a part of Mr. To Go, a theater project, which is not exactly theater or not just theater, but uh, it's something that's, that's been happening regularly. Uh, Georg goes to Donbass every year, starting from 2014 and works with kids, with teenagers, with school children of Donbass. And uh, of course I couldn't say no. And uh, so I had this trip scheduled for the fall of 2020. And then you all know what happened. In the end of March, I was sitting at home, staring in my calendar, watching all these dates of shows I was supposed to play just disappear. And uh, they were all cancelled or postponed. The only trip that was still there for some obscure reason was the Donbass trip. Although it couldn't happen. I know it's a matter I knew it's a matter of days. Uh, Georg would call me and say, Yuri, you understand the situation. Um, we'll have to cancel this one. Uh, but he didn't. Instead he called at some point and said he's sending me my ticket to Kiev. And up till that moment, I didn't believe it's going to happen. But it did happen. And in a couple of weeks, I took, uh, I took the flight to Kiev. I boarded the train to Kostantinivka. And in six hours, I arrived in Donbass. There was a cab expecting me there. I had a huge suitcase. Uh, with some of my instruments, microphone, a sound card, and some cables. And uh, I asked the driver, how long does it take to get to Popasna? Popasna was to become our headquarters, the headquarters of Mr. To Go. Uh, he said, yeah, the road is fucked up. Uh, so if we're lucky, we'll get there in an hour, but there are two checkpoints we have to go through. And 15 minutes later, 15 bumpy minutes later, we're at the checkpoint. You probably, I don't know how often you get to checkpoints, but if it doesn't happen often, <laughs> I'll remind you or tell you how it feels. This is this little hut on the side of the road. There are two guys, well, in our case, it was two guys in military uniforms with machine guns. They stop the cars. They ask they want to see your papers. This is basically what happened. They saw the German passport and they were surprised. So they asked me to get out of the car. And then the guy went into, one of the guys went into this hut and uh, I was standing right at the window. He was probably, I don't know, he was searching for something in the computer and asking questions and I didn't, it didn't look like he actually listens to my replies because he was quite busy staring at the screen of his computer and he was asking me like, so in Berlin you live where? So you're going to Donbass, why? 
and then i realized i'm scared i'm kind of it's a, you know not that i did anything wrong no and i was there you know i had all the papers but still it just you know when there are like two guys with machine guns and you're in the middle of nowhere um with a german passport it's like it's it's well it didn't make me feel comfortable i'd say anyway the last thing the guys you know, the guy tells me is that um because of the covid situation uh, i need a special permit which i don't have i have you know i have like i got tested in berlin i have uh, insurance i have a bunch of letters from the schools we are going to but i don't have this permit and then i realized that exactly a day ago my colleagues uh, georg anastasia and dan took the same train and as far as i know they are already in popasna and we do have the same the identical set of papers so it just can't be that i mean either we all have this permit or none of us have and uh, i don't have it so probably the others didn't have it too but they're already there that's what i'm saying saying the guy and uh he d didn't even listen to the end he just smiled at me probably he googled me and found something he liked so he, uh, he looks at me he looks up at me and says welcome to donbass and off we drive to papasna another 45 bumpy minutes of the highway donbass safari we are in Papasna, where I reunite with the rest of the Mr. To Go crew. And from that point, we actually start to work. Every day we go to schools, to different places. First comes Shubacha, then Troitska. Troitska is an, is an amazing place. <laughs> to Troitska, we would go with a school bus. Uh, it takes... Uh, more or less 60 minutes to get to Troitska and uh, here it's easy to get lost in their terminology because Troitska is both gray zone and red zone so according to this new corona regulations to the new corona vocabulary Troitska is the red zone in Ukraine it's known as the did I just say red zone yes red zone see i told you it's easy it's easy to to get completely confused with that one uh red zone and gray zone gray zone means it's right at the front of the conflict which is actually a war so troitsky is right at the border with luhansk uh, people's republic so-called and um the school bus didn't have no heating so and exactly in these days of november winter happened and it was like you know real winter not what we have in berlin now it was snowing it was uh, probably minus two or three and we were freezing our asses off in this bus uh till the middle of the trip because then the kids would get in and it will get slowly start getting warmer uh, and throughout the school is kind of small and this people the staff there the teachers and the school director but also the kids have been through a lot and uh, i was just happy to be there and make them smile and make music with them with music it was kind of tricky in the beginning and it wasn't the first time i was doing music with kids still i was concerned i wasn't sure they will you know they will be up to creating something with me so i didn't even know what we're gonna end up with what is gonna be the end product of this trip but then i would play them some of my songs about berlin some well-known songs about geographical locations like nwa's uh, straight out of compton stuff like this new york new york um and I would ask the kids whether their songs about the places where we are now, where they live, do these songs exist? And they would usually say no. And that's the point when I said, okay, this is not fair. Let's create these songs now together. And basically four or five weeks later, we had 10 songs that are, that became the new Donbass symphony 
Nova Sinfonia Donbassa. And uh, uh, today is the first time we're gonna play the album in its entirety. And I'm very happy to be back here in Berlin at the Panda Theater presenting this stuff to you. Y unfortunately, there is no one here. Unfortunately, there are no kids who actually deserve to stand on this stage much more than I do. And um, I just want to say hello, привет to everyone who participated in this. Say thank you very much. Дякуємо, спасибо for being a part of these projects to everyone who was at any point. It's been an amazing journey and this is not the end. This is Nova Symphonia Donbasso, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Let's go. Симфония Донбасса. Ты два раза, сын рок, сын и час. Проверка микрофона на связку Донбасс. Не шукали на нас, мы пришли до вас. Накручуем бас, будет полный экстаз. Но что идут он дурац, Берлин, та Техас. Тут мой не припать, говорит Донбасс. Народ нас простый, балакучий, смешный. Бери приклад с нас, слуха хардбас. Нас не багато часу, давай додай басу. Все нова симфония Донбассу. Йоу, йоу, йоу. Baby, you know what I have in mind. Since in Ukraine, I'm here in Donbass. We have a lot of time. Let's give the bass. This is the new Donbass symphony. Yo, 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 yo. This is the new symphony of Donbass. 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 Субтитры 
отряды Смотрю на поле две команды, две команды. И на воротах справа ты Тебя я встретил после матча Ты мокрая была домой Тебе я подошел не смело И понял, я тебе чужой Футболистка Девочка бандитка, кофейкистка Феминистка Как же достучаться для тебя, для тебя Футболистка Девочка бандитка, кофейкистка Феминистка Как же достучаться для тебя, для тебя
Это зона красная. This is the red zone. This is Popasna, Miss Popasna. Popasna, as I mentioned it before, was our... Uh, that's where our headquarters were. We used to live in a, in a, in a hostel called Crocker's in, a, in an apartment. All of us, me, Georg, Anastasia, and Dan. And uh, we would go to the schools uh, every day, if not Pasna, then other places, as I already mentioned 10 minutes ago. Um, however, Papasna is a special place because it's still like the kids there were absolutely thousand percent amazing not that the others the others weren't but this was kind of you know occupies a special place in my heart i would just let me put it like that and um so the moment i mentioned that maybe we could write songs together it was like yes they were fully motivated super organized this was really amazing you know like i figured out that um what it takes is one question you have to ask one right question and then you know and then they just take off that's what happened uh, we for example this song that we just listened to uh, the song about uh, Miss Papasna was written with Igor Makarenka, who was our technical director, young technical director, tutor in the project, and uh, one of the four tutors. And Igor never sang. At least that's what he told me. He never wrote a song. And we met, and you know, we talked about girls, and uh, that was it. And we had this song in an hour. So it was a song about Miss Papasna, who's kind of beautiful, but dangerous which is you know kind of sums up the vibe of this place and um, one of these days in the cult hall in the school i met with uh i mean yeah i just could say okay these were like 15 year old girls of papasna but in fact they could be spice girls you know they could be i think they could become they have a potential to become like the girl band of the of this planet and um um so they just sat there you know like arrogant and you know looking grim not really smiling and we start talking and i'm playing them all these songs and it just you know i, I have a feeling we don't really connect but then um uh, uh, I mentioned, you know, relationships, and I said, okay, so probably some of you have boyfriends, and they're like, yeah. And um, so they didn't look, you know, exactly happy, and I was like, okay, so what's, what are the problems you have with your boyfriends? And that was it. In an hour, we had a song. We had a song about, like, all the stuff they would say, and probably they do say to their boyfriends, like, what, uh, what, uh, what do these guys do wrong about the wrong stuff boys do to girls and um it's a it's a hit as all other songs of this album of the new donbass symphony recorded last year as a part of mr to go in the five towns of donbass so let's listen to another couple of songs and we start with девочки плачут Красила лесница, ты еще до встречи нашей успел напиться Хлещи дождь на улице, и я на каблуках А ты идешь в спортивках и с семками в руках Дома мне сказал сидеть, не гулять с друзьями А сам идешь пить пиво со своими алкашами То у тебя дела, то у тебя футбол А на свидание со мной забил и не пришел Опять твои друзья срывают романтик Но молча ухожу я, прикусив язык Но где твоя любовь? Твоя искра в глазах, как раньше обнимал и руки целовал По первому искра я пойду и заскочу в семью Возьму бутылочку для подруги, позвоню Алло, Марина, вызывай Восток Поедем на Восток, будем слушать Кровосток Алло, Марина? Марина, алло! Губите вы чувства, бьете нам сердца Играете на нервах наших без конца Вы прикольные типы, но смущает нас 
Почему же девочки плачут из-за вас? Вода. Будь папе разогрела, вчерашний пол доела, папа говорит, хватит же пора за дело. Вышла из подъезда, сразу хлоп сугроб, вы услышите сейчас припев в стиле этнофо. Кино. Даже Фредди Крюгер испугался бы его. Трясутся 10 взрослых и 35 детей. Видно, что они не ищут легких путей. Мы врываемся в пругу, начинаем дрифт на льду. Через 30-40 метров подкатили к лопасу. Справа надпись на табличке «Осторожно, мина, приезжайте на Донбасс». Это Украина. Сука и ритма, вот и чарина. Снова нам пришла, зимунька зима. Сука и ритма, вот и чарина. автомобилистам без потреби не виїжджати із дому. Також в зв'язку зі збільшенням кількості захворюваності на Донеччині відмінили саме послаблення, які були передбачені другим етапом. Everybody dance now. Не працюють кафе всередині, не працюють спортзали. Передостанню добу на Донеччині було 26 нових випадків. The album launch in the Panda Theater Berlin. Наконец-то не один у авангарда ждут друзья. 
друзья Не надеваю маску я Не надо больше мне писать Привет, когда пойдем гулять Гулять мы можем хоть сейчас И копы не повяжут нас Раньше дома я сидел и в телевизор я глядел Я много ел и мало спал, ночами в Амангас играл Теперь я в магазин качусь и там не ощущаю грусть Лимон подешевел опять, теперь он стоит 25 И маску в бокс я положу И на прощание ей скажу Гудбай, май масочка, гудбай Давай пиши, не забывай. Мама меня будет, а я не хочу вставать. Но с бутербродиком принесла в кровать. Заварить бы рот, она сыграв с аппетит. Вайбер свинит, математичка кричит. От этих сообщений сорвался телефон. Приехала полиция, звонит мой домофон. Доброе утро, проверка на коронавирус. Вырубайте интернет, сейчас я головой двинусь. А вот сосед без маски, похоже, пьяный в дым. Он вышел покурить, теперь полиция за ним. Нетрезвый, но бежит, хочет избежать ареста. Сбивает бабу Любу из соседнего подъезда. Баба Люба падает, сбивает тетю Нину. А та с большим пакетом, как ушла из магазина. Ее собака лает и кусает полисмена. Это Николай, как тут правда офигенно. Райгородок, здравствуйте. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Райгородок. Райгородок, здравствуйте. Наше місто рай городок, кожен тут має свідімий садок. Це не мегаполіс, чи якийсь там зірець, зате аж дві річки Торець і Донець. Мабуть, саме так видає цей рай, з горами з крейди, ген за небо край. Тут люди спокійні і працьовиті. Welcome, my friend, to the Paradise City. Ось ми просимо до рай городка! Welcome to Paradise City! Рай, 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 Слов'янського району постійно розвивається і має активну громаду. Знали щось предки, старі козаки, що рай мусить бути там, де дві ріки. Між Слобожанщиною і Донбасом, де спокій і природа, величні прикраси. І я собі йду однієї стежок на гору, щоб бачити рай городок. Мов птах підлітаю і сила швидка, несе мене стрімко до рай городка. Rai Horodok is another place we haven't mentioned before uh, tonight. Another station in this fantastic journey of Mr. To Go that we took in the fall of 2020 in the middle of the pandemic in the red zones and um, uh, the lyrics for the songs were written by a dear friend a uh, talented Ukrainian poet Grigory Semenchuk uh, straight out of Lviv 
He's also known as MC Brat, uh, probably the best hip hop act in Ukraine. And uh, this is to say Diako uh, for the amazing lyrics. And then there's uh, also this chorus. Uh, or this line, Welcome to Paradise City. Why Paradise City? Because Rai Horodok, translated into English, is actually a paradise town. It's not exactly the paradise of my choice yet, but uh, I encourage you to take a, a YouTube journey to this place. And um, as I mentioned, none of the kids who sang on these songs could be with us tonight. Not Masha, who did this amazing Welcome to Paradise City line. Uh, one of the very few uh, kids uh, in Donbass who actually are making music themselves. Masha plays electric guitar and uh, does this kind of extreme metal singing. But I'm very happy that a part of our small team not unfortunately Dan Gumiany, who's in Kyiv, who we miss very much and say hello. But Anastasia Terhanova, who's responsible for all the visuals here, and Georg Jeno, who's the mastermind of the project, they are actually here with me. And I'm so happy that I can greet uh, Georg with me on this stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Georg Jeno. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> actually, I I want to speak about miracles, about I don't know, wonder, chuda, wonder. Um, yeah, about some mir miracles. At first, the big miracle is for me that you came with us to the bus because. Um, you didn't know it, I I knew you before we met in real for a long time. I knew your music music and it is really one of the musics I'm listening most to in my life. So you did the right thing to speak to me when we met first. And in this moment already actually I had the dream to take you with us because I felt very deep that for our kids it would be a wonderful miracle when a human like you will come with your wonderful music and I think I was right because I felt that for them it was something very wonderful, special and coming to Donbass you always feeling, experience some miracles I think that for our friend Dan Gumeni, Popasna is a very special miracle when he and his colleague Anton Romanov made their first performance in east of Ukraine in Popasna and because they, st they felt in love with this town, especially with the pupils and also I felt that the town Popasna felt in love with them always when I came to there without them and pronounced the names Dan and Anton. You found in their faces such a very, very wonderful smile with, um, with love to them. And I found my miracle in um, Nikolaevka, near to Slavinsk, a little town. It was my first town in Donbass. As Jura said, I'm traveling to there uh, from the end of 14 years, so a long time. And I had to perform in a yeah, program of volunteers, Svetoy uh, Nikolai, uh, uh, St. Nikolaus. And yeah, and the children, not everyone believed, of course, but the little children from f primary class, they believed it's me, I was there was a long beard, long hair, with my accent. And they wrote me letters and asked me that I have to bring peace to, to war zone in Donbass. They asked me in letters, please, uh, Nikolai, do something that I can 
get back my daddy or uh, I nobody will shoot to my parents anymore and of course a human being alone can't bring peace to Donbass but I I have the feeling when we are coming to this towns, so strange artists as you and me, um, <laughs> for the young people there, it's also a little miracle why they are coming, what do they want from us, but they got a lot of fun and thoughts and inspirations for their life, and this is what we can do. So if today somebody is inspired by us to come to Donbass to work with pupils. You can find our um, contacts on uh, our homepage, mr2go.com, and we will be happy to support you because there are a lot of towns. Yeah, In this project, we worked in six towns, mr to go but there are so many towns which need support, so I would be very happy if after this concert somebody says, okay, this is a good idea, I have some time, we will, yeah, we will be happy. And I promise you that for you it will be a miracle as well. Yeah, and so about a town which is a miracle for me or, yeah, about pupils in this miracle town, Nikolaivka, I think is also the next song. Yes. So... I give it back to you and wish you a wonderful evening. Georg, thank you so much. Listy shimat pod nogami, a na drogach yama. Grazne luje ich zapolniat razvodami semi zaprishenakh attenkov. Dumayam, sto vovsi ne dite i ne nuzhny nikakie sovety. Nastolka krutye, kak buta kometa letim, no i v kosmosi mesta nam nitu. И мы с тобой летели по миру, по мели, Но под одни думали, бежали во дворы, Все же скрусили цветные качели, На них веревки штурвутся на раз, два, три, А помнишь прогулки в парк по вечерам, И мы словно придурки бежали, бежали на фьючевой планы, Кайстер на прощание. Подарок, фантиков, конфет, горстка В три над все было так просто Так того и шар, сейчас гвозди И проблемы одна за одной И по кругу, ой, ладно Ты так далеко, аж досадно Тебя буду ждать у фонтана Смотри с холма на закаты рассветы Над нами птицы, ты с ними не улетай Проезд туда и назад двадцать третьим Пожалуй, самое лучшее времена Теперь друг от друга бежим, убегаем Стандарты занудны, мы их напугаем Страшилка из детства, шучу Внутри меня место есть и воспоминаний Фантиков конфет горстка Ты над все было так просто Тогда были жары, сейчас гвозди и Проблемы одна за одной И по кругу, ой, ладно Ты так далеко, аж досадно Тебя буду ждать у фонтана На Украине де война На Украине де война Вина Вина На Украине де война Краде життя волна На фронте те забирают Чи вернуться живыми не знаю На Украине де война Краде життя волна На фронте те забирают Чи вернуться живыми не знаю Война это подла скотина Пришла до нас в лиху годину С братской стороны Не чекали мы звідти ее 
Це дивна війна, хлопці вмирають, почистів так, вони не знають, лежачи мовчки в степу, віддавши йому душу свою. На фронті те забирають, чи вернуться живими не знаю. На Україні йде війна, краде життя вона. На фронті те забирають, чи вернуться живими не знають. За що помер той хлопчина, в якого навіть немає сина, йому ще жити та й жити. Країну він мав нову творити. Він пішов на схід воювати, чисті волю свою відстояти. В труні лежить той солдат, холодний німи і нічому не рад. Та жаль, що ти, брате, не можеш нічого сказати. Ти міг би сказати, люблю тебе, мати. Я помер за правду і віру, щоб діти жили в мирі. Війна страшна. На Україні йде війна, краде життя вона. На фронті те забирають, чи вернуться живими, не знаю. На Україні йде війна, краде життя вона. На фронті те забирають, чи вернуться живими, не знають. There's a war going on in Ukraine. The war is a bitch and it steals our lives. That's what this song is about. And uh, as I told you the like this little story of how we used to write the songs together with the kids of Donbass, um, I usually, like the way I just described this was that I did ask them a question and they would come up with answers and uh, would these answers would become a song uh, to something that's really you know to some subject that's really mm, that's really important or interesting to the kids as for uh, this song this is a different story this is probably the saddest and most serious songs of all and um, we already left Popasna and I felt like you know, with this, I, I don't even know how to, what's the proper word for what we did, a workshop, or my, I mean my part, uh, like this songwriting uh, recording thing. Anyway, I feel like something opened in some of these, uh, of some of the uh, kids I worked with. And as we already moved to Mikolaevka or Nikolaevka, the place Georg just described 10 minutes ago. I was sitting in the hotel room of the Hotel Zarya and I suddenly got a message from Diana, Diana Shulga, one of the girls from Papasna, who took part in the recording and writing of these songs about the girls that came like 15 minutes before that one. And uh, she was like, oh, I think we have to write another song. And I was like, interesting, why do you think so? Like, what's what would be the song about? And she said, like, I think we need a song about what's going on here and a song about the war. And I was like, okay, sure. Uh, come to Mikolaevka, let's work on that together. And the next day it was organized and... Uh, they came through the checkpoints, made it to Mikolaevka, and we spent three hours r working on this song with Diana and Angelina, and uh, it became what it became, and it's a kind of a, um, it's a very sad song, and it's really different from the rest of this album. And there is another song which is, again, 
different in a different way because uh, it was almost me alone writing it. I wrote it on the bus, on the school bus that took us to Troitska, the place I described half an hour ago, the place right at the front, the place where from the windows of the school you can see the other side, the Luhansk F People's Republic. And um, we were driving through the fields of snow on the bumpy road on the school bus with no heating and the driver would listen to the most awful music in the world which is like this kind of a prison uh, prison songs in russian in the worst possible arrangements on the cheapest electronic instruments a a every driver would listen to that every taxi driver every bus driver and uh, i had an overdose of this music i guess and uh, but it stayed in my head somehow and watching these snowy lands endless snowy landscapes on the right on the left in front of us i thought that we need to find an alternative to this awful music and we have to make it our own you know and so I wrote this uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, song of the Donbass War. And uh, we tried it with different singers. And uh, in the end, Anastasia, who's responsible for all the visuals tonight, sang it beautifully. And this is the last song on the album before the remixes come. Again, if you join later, uh, this is the very first public listening session of Mr. To Go, of uh, the album called uh, New Symphony, New Donbass Symphony, Nova Symphonia Donbasso, an album created in w approximately one month in the five towns of Donbass in Ukraine last year, mixed in Berlin couple of weeks ago thanks for staying with us and uh, please check out our website mr to gocom and do write comments i hope you're out there watching dancing Yeah. 
Хлопці вмирають, почистів так, вони і не знають, лежачи мовчки в степу, віддавши йому душу свою. На Україні йде війна, краде життя вона. На фронт дітей забирають, чи вернуться живими, не знаю. На Україні йде війна, краде життя вона. На фронт дітей забирають. Чи вернуться живими, не знаю. За що помер той хлопчина, в якого навіть немає сина, йому ще жити та й жити. Країну він мав нову творити. Він пішов на схід воювати, чисті волю свою відстояти. В труні лежить той солдат, холодний, німий, нічому не рад. Та жаль, що ти, брате, не можеш нічого сказати. Ти міг би сказати, люблю тебе, мати. Я помер за правду і віру, щоб діти жили у мирі. На Україні йде війна, краде життя вона. На фронт дітей забирай, чи вернуться живими, не знаю. На Україні йде війна, краде життя вона. На фронт дітей забирай, чи вернуться живими, не знаю. The new Donbass Symphony by Mr. To Go was mixed and mastered by Alexei Mikrykov in Kyiv, uh, also known as King Imagine. And he also did these two remixes, one of which we just heard. The second one comes right up next. I want to use this opportunity and say thank you, спасибо, дякуємо, danke to each and everyone who was a part of this project who helped us on the way to get to to get here to get where we are now uh, because this album is out today and it was a uh, an amazing journey and it was a privilege to be a part of this miracle thank you very much this is nova symphonia donbasso available available on soundcloud uh, for streaming for now uh, next week i hope available on the streaming platforms including spotify TikTok, and whatnot um via extra estrada records our dear friend in strasbourg who just had an earthquake what i just saw on the facebook so uh thanks for being here and if you liked what you heard you're you're welcome to listen to it again to share it with your friends to share what you just heard and to share the songs uh, on the soundcloud thank you дякуємо нова симфонія донбасу симфонія донбасу
три, два, раз, цены рок, цены джаз Перевірка мікрофону на зв'язку Донбас Не чекали на нас, ми прийшли до вас Накручуємо бас, буде повний екстаз Нас чують Гондурас, Берлін та Техас Good morning, everybody, говорить Донбас Народ нас простий, балакучий, смішний Бери приклад з нас, слухай хардбас Нас небагато часу, давай додай басу Це нова симфонія Донбасу Йоу, йоу, йоу це нова симфонія Донбасу Донбас Донбас Ми енергійні, ми молоді Тут нас всі знають, бо ми королі Ми не любимо спати, влаштовуємо паті Дома для себе танцюй у халаті Зроби комплімент, коли чуєш мій акцент Це експеримент, Донбас репрезент Бебі, ти знаєш, що я маю на увазі Сонце в Україні стає на Донбасі Нас не багато часу, давай додай басу Це нова симфонія Донбасу Це нова симфонія Донбасу Донбас Сонце і сніг, погода прекрасна Сьогодні троїцьке, завтра попасна Подзвоню діджею, алло, Тарас Приїжджає до нас і вмикай хардбас Наше паті, це просто клас Мікрофон скажу, I love the bass Нам життя дається лише один раз Насолоджуйся так, ніби їж ананас У нас не багато часу, давай додай басу Це нова симфонія до басу Йоу, йоу, йоу це нова симфонія Донбасу Це нова симфонія Донбасу